Several Fort Hood families still don't have any answers or for their missing or dead family members, uh, even after the Fort Hood Independent Review this past week. Uh, that includes the family of uh, Private uh, Greg Morales. They still have no idea what happened to the man. 25 News reporter Aaron Heft joins us live at Post Now with what uh, Private Morales' mother has to say. Aaron, I, I suspect that she's still very upset about this, huh? Good morning, Dennis. Gregory Weedle Morales, missing since August 2019, was found buried in a shallow Colleen grave here back in June. It's been nearly a year and a half, and the family has very little information to go on, but they recently found an alarming piece of information in his case. I'm even finding out things now that, I, that nobody's bothered to tell me. Found buried in this field, the evidence left to solve the murder of Private Weedle Morales, according to what officials tell his family, has been limited. Oh, I feel, feel he was failed in every way. A key piece of evidence now just coming to light, Weedle Morales' car. According to those closest to the late soldier, his brand new car seemingly had never been reported or followed up on. The family stumbled on this information themselves. His car was actually found four days after he went missing and was towed from the exact area he was found buried. Who failed him on what level here? Did CID not put his car information in the system? Did Colleen not put it in the system? Did the tow truck company not bother to put it in the system? Did they not look in the system? Because his car was towed and all of his belongings were thrown away. The last things Weedle Morales touched potentially lost forever. I mean, it's all we had to go on was whatever was in this car because that's what the last thing he was in. U.S. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy announcing a new policy called Absent Unknown. The policy will assist in tracking and finding missing soldiers. It clarifies expectations and responsibilities of unit commanders and law enforcement authorities for supporting missing soldiers' families and aids in identifying whether the absence is voluntary before calling it absent without leave. Focusing on finding soldiers within 48 hours of their disappearance instead of what they did with Weedle Morales, which was mark him as AWOL and eventually a deserter. Fort Hood officials telling Kim Weedle this new policy was established in response to Greg's death. Why wasn't any of this stuff done so that we would have had answers a year and a half ago instead of, you know, still now just finding out things? Colleen PD, now in charge of the case, told me their investigation is ongoing and considered a homicide. The family's been told by Colleen Police Department that all evidence has been sent to DPS for answers. Reporting from Fort Hood, Aaron Heft, 25 News. Let's hope they get them, Aaron. Thank you.